Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to talk about this new camera that I got, which is the Kodak M35. So if you want to hear my first thoughts about it, then stick around. Okay, so what is this camera? Well, if you've been in my channel for a while now, then you know that I like to take photos using film. So yeah, um, this is another film camera and it's plastic. However, unlike disposable cameras, it's actually reusable. So you can reload it with new film. Um, yeah, so if you've seen my review of the Lomography Simple Use Film Camera or the Double Film Show Camera, then this camera is going to be familiar to you because they are all from the same line. So it is plastic, it has a plastic lens. Um, yeah, I actually think that it is kind of the same as a Double Film Show Camera. It kind of just looks like it has a different face or like a different skin that has been put on the same mechanics. So I ordered my copy of this camera from eBay, and this is what the packaging looks like when it came. So it says the Kodak, it has the Kodak logo. However, it seems like it's created by some Chinese company. It's pretty okay though. Kind of cheap looking. Some basic information about the camera specifications are available at the back of the packaging. And this is available in different languages like Chinese, Thai, and of course, English. The camera doesn't come preloaded with any film, nor does it come with any batteries. However, it does come with a strap and a user manual in case you need to know how to use it. It is pretty straightforward to use though. But for beginners, it tells you how to load the camera as well as how to take a photo. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. Pretty cool. The Kodak M35 has a focal length of 31mm, a max aperture of f10, shutter speed of 1 120th of a second, and only weighs 100 grams. The specs are very similar if not exactly the same as other reusable film cameras. The first time I used this camera, I loaded it with Kodak Ultramax, which is an all-around 400 ISO speed color film from Kodak. To load the camera with film, turn it on its side and toggle the door lock to open the back of the camera. Once open, pull the film rewind crank out and place the roll of film into the film chamber and push the rewind crank back into place. Pull a bit of the film out of the canister and hook it into the film take-up spool like so. You can then turn the film advanced wheel to secure the film onto the take-up spool and close the back door. To be sure that the film is loaded properly, I like to keep an eye on the film rewind crank and check whether it's turning along as I wind the film using the film advanced wheel. If it is turning, then the film was loaded properly. Keep winding and pressing the shutter button until you reach number 1 on the film counter, and you're good to go. Remember to do this every time you want to take a photo. To use the built-in flash, you'll need to load the camera with one AAA battery. To do so, open the battery door at the bottom of the camera, insert the battery making sure that the positive and negative sides are properly attached. and turn on the flash by switching the flash button and wait for the red light to glow.
To compose your shot, use the camera's viewfinder and frame the scene however you like. Be aware though that this only covers 70% of the view of the camera, so the actual photo will include a bit more of the scene compared to what you see on the viewfinder. By the way, leave a comment if you want to see videos about my vintage camera collection. To unload the film once you've taken all of the photos, signified by the letter E in the film counter up the top here, press the rewind button located at the bottom of the camera, and turn the film rewind crank clockwise until all of the film is rewound back into the film canister. You can pretty much feel this because there is no longer any resistance from the film. Once that's done, open the camera back door, lift up the film rewind crank, and remove the film for processing. To develop my film, I usually just send it to the lab so that they can develop it and scan it for me. Yeah, so I've only had it for about a month now and so this video is not really going to be a review. However, this is more like a first impressions type of video. So I guess I'm just gonna talk about my experience and then I'll show you some of the photos that I took. I live in a suburb of Calgary and while I do think it's a good place to live in, I've always thought of North American suburbs as visually boring and mundane. However, to test the Kodak M35, I decided to challenge myself and take photos of things I find interesting around my neighborhood. Much like the Lomography Simple Use Film Camera and the Double Film Show Camera, the Kodak M35 is very easy to use. You just point and take a shot. I came out for this photo walk after work, so the sun was just about to set. This meant that the available light was getting low and while my photos weren't underexposed, I think it still affected the image quality. I would like to see how this camera fares in bright light. Can you take a selfie with it? Yes, you can! The camera focuses from 1 meter and beyond though, so you kind of have to have long hands for that. And of course, just as I finished the roll of film on my camera, there's these bunnies on the road that I wanted to take a photo of, but yeah, I didn't have any more film, so sad. Here are some more photos that I took using the camera. So yeah, what do you think of this camera? Do you like it? Do you want to buy it? Um, for me, I would actually say that the double film show camera is a little bit better, at least on how it looks as well as um, the photos that I've taken. That one kind of looked like it's a little bit sharper. Also, when I was looking at Double Film's Instagram, they were showing how they actually manually hand check each of those cameras. They check for defects and things like that. So if you buy that camera, then chances are you are gonna get better quality, I would say. Um, however, I mean, they're all kind of like the same plastic cameras, right? And so if you don't have the budget to buy the Double Film Show camera, then this one is good enough, I think. I actually also really like the color of this camera. It is light blue. Um, so yeah, I guess it's gonna be part of my collection now. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. I'm actually assembling the Power Rangers right now. So I have the red from the Yashica MF. I have this blue one. I have a yellow one, which is the Kodak M38. 
uh, I have the pink one, which is a double film show camera. Uh, so I guess I'm missing black, white, green, <laughs> I don't know, but I will have them at some point. Hello, um, look who came here to say hi. Sujan, Nisha, look over there at the camera. I love this cat. 